Hello, my name is Jarnice Harris, the Executive Assistant for the National Reentry Network for Returning Citizens. I have been in my position since 2018. This position entails uh, assisting in all aspects of the organization. It includes client intake, record keeping and management, grant management, working with volunteers and interns, training, advocacy, payroll, as well as many other things. Um, I have my hand in all areas dealing with the National Reentry Network for Returning Citizens. I first learned about the organization when, upon my release, I visited a community-based organization that referred me to the National Reentry Network for Returning Citizens for one of their circles, the Reintegration Circle Keeping. Um, upon my initial intake visit, visit, I was informed about an open job position. Uh, at that time, I applied and I was ultimately hired and have been in that position ever since. Um, that I was extremely grateful for. It was only three months after my release, um, not having a job, not having anywhere to live, not having a vehicle. Uh, at that time, I was actually living in a hotel uh, with my grandmother. So I know that for my probation, it was a requirement of my release to have some employment. So I was extremely grateful that for that. I know there are a lot of people that don't get that in that short amount of time. Um, prior to my incarceration, I had no experience dealing with returning citizens, let alone being one. So working with the National Reentry Network for Returning Citizens has definitely opened up my horizon to the things that are going on in our community. I was raised uh, very sheltered. I wasn't aware of many of the things going on in the world, uh, let alone the criminal justice system. Um, but I have learned so much about the reentry community from Mr. Courtney Stewart and the barriers that returning citizens face. Uh, with the experience that I have now and with my own experience, I hope to one day assist other women on their reentry journey, especially women who have dealt with domestic violence and human trafficking, both things that I have experienced myself. Um, if I can help just one person avoid the trauma that comes from these experiences, my heart will be full. My hopes for the National Reentry Network for Returning Citizens are to expand as far as we can go. We have made so many accomplishments in the short time that I've been with the organization, but I know that the sky is the limit. I want every returning citizen to be like, when they get released and hear the name, the National Reentry Network for Returning Citizens, and be like, oh yeah, I heard about them. I really want to be a part of that group, organization, uh, whatever it is that you want to call it. But I think at the end of the day, our organization is a family and we're here to assist each and every person on their journey coming home. Thank you.